Hi, oh, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Sag. Now, this will be for March 2024. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. And if you haven't, welcome. Um, please remember, though, that it's uh, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And also time can be fluid and energy can be vice versa. You might get some sort of dirty offer. Interesting. All right, let's see what's going on. Tell me more about Sage. Oh, God. What is it with you fire signs? Oh, God. This may be very specific. Somebody could have had, like, got held up at gunpoint or was threatened with a gun or somebody feels very intimidating they could be um, talking shit online and in the world. Um, otherwise, it could mean that somebody is even emotionally like stealing your happiness, kind of like, you know, taking your happiness, threatening you intimidating you talking shit seems to be a common theme for you fire signs look dodging bullets that's not good when it's if there's a gun there um blocking negativity escaping crazy people and protected by haters they don't like happiness they don't want to see you happy what is it with you fire signs right now i think you've all had something very similar and there's like this many cards in the deck like i don't know how you keep all getting the same cards yeah like this oh my god it just seems like the same reading it's like somebody oh, there's dirty offer again like somebody definitely feels like they won the jackpot um if it's not maybe someone actually did they won some money um which was very unexpected but somebody could have stolen, whether it's been actually like physically, like theft, or whether they are just stealing your happiness. They could have threatened you or intimidated you. As I said, this may be a very specific reading for one person. Maybe this person got money stolen from them, money they won. Somebody threatened them. They've been talking shit. Um... For those of you where it's more about stealing your happiness more so than being an actual thief it's like it made you feel like you weren't enough and yeah it could have really affected your mental health i want to say that but as i said that's there's kind of like a few different messages going through you've got growth with the butterfly, soulmate, cassette, and you've got missing you in reverse. So, this is definitely about a partnership where maybe you thought that this person was your person, but there was no stability or security here. Um, yeah. Somebody has a lot of like outdated thinking. They also, somebody's also replaying events over and over. Like maybe when this person was a bully, you know, like they've been bullying you or um, wanting your money for some of you. But I feel like whatever this is, you need to just kind of dodge the bullet. You need to... Get rid of this person out of your life. Look, I miss you is in reverse and you got missing you in reverse. Like really, it's not about you. This person doesn't even really give a shit. It's more about the illusion. They're like, they say trickster, but I just think they wanted things to look like a fairy tale, happy fairy tale, but it was all a crock of shit. Um,
Yeah, I feel like you left them. Because you've got turning your back and then in reverse they left you hanging and it's in reverse so yeah look but ghosted somebody also could have been ghosted um somebody knows that what they were doing was wrong but yeah They could have also been saying I love you to somebody else, like a side piece. Oh my god, what is going on in the world, I swear to god. Well no matter what cards I've shuffled and the ones that jump out are the same ones for all the pretty much all of you fire signs, they've been very very similar, um, a lot of the same cards. So, moon card in reverse, could be a Pisces, doesn't have to be, um, got undervalued that just jumped out um dependent and greed like i said strings attached conditional giving yeah as i said i feel like somebody was with you with you for money with you for what you could do for them um tell me about the ace of swords But I feel like you could have got some sort of clarity. Yeah, look, reassess, uh, reevaluate. So you're definitely thinking through like, what the hell? Why am I tolerating this? Or why am I putting up with that? Um, I mean, as I said though, I feel like you thought this person was your was your person. Um, but I feel like overall they were using you and I mean by them, by you turning your back, you dodged a bullet. Um, because I feel like this person wasn't such a good person. You got Hierophant here and a Hierophant in reverse over here. You could have been married to this person or in a high level of commitment. Oh, these same three cards have come out with the others. Like... This has caused family problems or just like issues or broken friend group or whatever this is. Um, but yeah, this person was very critical or gossipy or easily influenced, harsh, calculating. Like you might have thought this was your person because they sold that fairy tale to you, but I feel like. They were saying I love you and trying to propose to some other random, you know, person. So, um, but you, I don't feel like you knew. Yeah. I feel like you thought this person was going to bring you your wishes. You thought this was like, I've got everything I ever wanted. Um, could be pregnant or have kids with this person. But they're, you're part of a third party. You're part of a triangle, love triangle. Um, this person could have also isolated you. Um... But you are making some changes and you're making them quite quickly. Um, tell me why that's here. For some of you, you may want to break like back down 
because you don't want to have conflict. Um, and also because you've got kids to this person. I feel like though you've got the, the truth about this person, about them making a plan and you need to assess your life and I think like that's what it comes back to. It's like you want to have success, you want to have victory in something and especially because you do possibly have a kid um, or children but it's like unrequited love, manipulative, disappointed, obsessed, uncommitted, third party, friction, like, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't see this going anywhere good, but I also feel like this is, like, I don't know whether it's like huge lessons for the fire signs at the moment. It's like all the same kind of stories. Um which is that you guys need to really work on you and stop attracting people that um whoop, not attracting people and you know these people put on this whole illusion and you know like happy families some fairy tale love and you buy into it i feel like you need to just kind of do the work on you can you tell me more seven of swords trickery deception betrayal sneaking around you've got hermit again you've got the ace of wands so yeah, you really need to do that. Spend time alone, do some introspection, self-reflection. Look at why you would even consider being with somebody who did this to you. Like, it's like, as I said, fire signs. It's like huge lessons for you. Um, it's going to take, like, willpower and whatever to get away from this person. But... You can have victory. You've got to get away from them. They're possessive. They're controlling, impulsive. Like, yeah. You've just got to have the confidence, I feel like, to move away from this person and know what you deserve because you deserve better than this. This person is cold-hearted, cruel, resentful, bitter, as I said about isolation, they like to isolate you so you have no one. Um, but you're working on, I feel like you're working on some sort of passion or some sort of something to make you money. Maybe that's a really good thing as well. You could have also maybe something you need to work on is being like over committed. And when I say that, I mean like you can see there's a lack of balance in a relationship. Like here's you giving, you know, well, let's go this way. Here's you giving 500%. Here's them giving 100 rather than it being, you know, like, whatever 50 50 in this you know crappy example that i'm making it's like one of you is you're the one giving everything and this person's giving absolutely jack shit they're giving nothing so you need it to be equal and that is not happening and you need to maybe as i said part of you needing to look into you why do you do that why do you accept less than why is it okay for someone to give very little amount of themselves when you're giving, you know, all of you? Something to think about. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.